Hello everyone. My name is Viktor Apolinov. I'm an expert in testing tourniquets, representing the Tourniquet Testing Center. And now I'm going to tell you about the development of the Dnipro Hemostatic Tourniquet. The Dnipro Hemostatic Tourniquet is designed to stop massive bleeding from the upper and lower extremities that occurs as a result of damage to the major blood vessels due to injury. For more than a year we have been at war. Two generations of tourniquets, a term often used in tactical medicine, have been developed and approved for use during this time. This video is about how the product has changed. Its purpose is to provide a clear understanding of the evolution of the tool for controlling massive bleeding and which product is the main one in production since September 2022. There are currently two generations of tourniquets, the first and the second, as I mentioned earlier. The first generation is now history. What is relevant is the revision of the second generation, which has been finalized on the basis of the first generation. Like the first generation, it was preceded by technical and practical research. Feedback from specialists who used this tool to combat massive hemorrhage at one level or another was not insignificant. The first version of the Dnipro tourniquet existed for a relatively short period of time. In the same month in which the first version was recommended by the tourniquet testing center, work began on the design of the next version too. The principles behind the first and second versions are the same. The only difference is the amount of research and feedback received. In general, they are the following. Adherence to the protocol for the provision of first aid in connection with the priorities for the provision of care in the area under enemy fire. This is described in the algorithms of care under fire, or in other words, in the zone of direct contact with the direct fire. In accordance with the priority of this zone, self-help, the direction of all efforts to ensure the ability to self-help in the most difficult scenario. Injuries with severe bleeding in upper and lower limb at the level of femur, major blood vessels. Accordingly, one working limb, extremely limited physical condition and very short time to become helpless. Again, in connection with the fact that the first version is already becoming history, I would like to point out the most important differences between the first and the second generation. The main structural elements of the first version of the Dnipro were an insulating polycarbonate platform, a two-slot metal buckle, a duralumin windless rod, and a massive outer cover, part of which was segmental velcro is one of the most structurally important elements. The inner sling, which is used to apply pressure to the soft tissues, it has consisted of a single strap in all generations. This is due to a number of advantages over a two-band design. In another video, we will discuss these advantages. The transition to the second generation has been marked by the following changes. The design of the isolation platform was changed. But the material was the same, and the segmental hook and loop tape was replaced with hybrid hook and loop tape. The transfer of the outer band, part of the tourniquet cover, from the upper isolation platform to the lower part was one of the most important design changes. This solution has protected the device from the possibility of a very dangerous phenomenon. When the outer band is tightened by a knot formed by the rod of the wind-up device, Already in the first generation of Dnipro hemostatic tourniquets, certain design changes were made in a short period of time aimed at improving the functional and user qualities of the device. In particular, the polycarbonate insulating platform was replaced with a polyamide platform. This platform, with an integrated cage-like holder, separates the knot formation area from the soft tissue. The double-slotted buckle was replaced with a single-slotted buckle. The internal loop was reinforced. However, the instrument remained a single loop. Several elements have been incorporated to improve the tactical and technical characteristics of the tool, such as a protective tread in the area between the polyamide platform and the metal buckle, and on the other side of the platform. 
Anti-vibration buckle attachment element. The winch bar configuration has been changed. This is the configuration of the tourniquet that the manufacturer positions as the main one. This particular tourniquet has been in production since September 22nd. That's it so far. By the way, if you have a first generation tourniquet or a second generation tourniquet with a production date before September 8th, 2022, you can determine this date by looking at the label on the tourniquet itself. The manufacturer will replace it free of charge and with logistics at its own expense, exchanging it for the main version with the latest changes, thus realizing its advantage. Thank you for your attention. I wish you to be alive.